we hit 1,000 subscribers, which is incredible. There was a tenfold growth. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs. In this video, I just want to highlight my journey through this past year on YouTube. I thought it'd be fun, fun for us to see where we all started and what we've done this past year. The other reason that I wanted to do it is as a form of encouragement or maybe research for anyone who's starting off on YouTube and just wants to have a bit more information as to like what's a typical journey. I'm not saying that my journey will be the same as your journey, but then at least the more people kind of talk about how they grew on YouTube and what they did the more people can do it and it will just be demystified so when we start youtube we all start from zero subscribers but i feel like not all zeros are completely equal so just to give you a bit of background in terms of where i was starting i had maybe six seven hundred um, followers on instagram and i put out a post taking on new challenges this year one of them was starting a youtube channel the link is in the bio there are hundreds of youtubers but none of them are you this was what finally got me out of my comfort zone and into action and i can already see the benefits of being more intentional with my art this post got 108 likes and lots of comments of encouragement so this is what kind of spearheaded month one and you want to guess how many subscribers I had I had seven subscribers <laughs> in month one part of me is almost entirely sure that all seven subscribers are myself plus my family members so during this month I had 109 views 7.5 watch hours and I'd released three videos and my first video was my sketchbook tour of my first ever completed sketchbook and I absolutely loved this video I loved putting it together I loved learning how to edit I loved looking back on my sketchbook if you want to see my first ever like I guess art for when I was doing the 100 day challenge that's where it's at then next i did um some christmas videos just doing watercolor tutorials and they got 27 views and then 13 views then in month two i was so happy with the response from my first month because to be perfectly honest with seven subscribers of which all of them are my family members <laughs> i was very happy with the fact that over you know over 100 people had seen my videos and taking the time to look I felt inspired to continue so I doubled down and I created like a lot more videos so I decided to publish my gouache series where I basically painted gouache portraits I was learning so much about painting skin tones and especially like darker skin tones so I thought okay I'll publish these videos as well and I did not one not two not three not four but five videos where I essentially posted tips that I'd learned from painting gouache faces and showing the process that I'd done and I think the one in the Middle, the gouache chips do's and don'ts that's the video that I was referencing to where I say that it had like the worst ugly face I have ever seen and yet it ended up being really nice it was just like an encouragement to persevere past the ugly face I also wanted to create a video about my intentions for the year and for the channel because I thought it would be a nice thing to look back on as well so at the time my goals were to connect with 10 people which are the MVPs so thank you very much to create four videos a month and to just improve on creating videos I still loved creating loose watercolor florals so I also did a watercolor floral tutorial so in month two I created seven videos <laughs> which was a lot remember we're, we're working full-time we have other commitments I released seven videos and as a result of that I now had nine subscribers <laughs> at the end of month two we went up two subscribers went up in the views so now I have 166 views the watch hours did go down to 4.6 hours which is like almost half but to be fair the videos were shorter so then we go on to month three and at this point I have 13 subscribers so we've gone up by four the views have dropped again to 80 and the watch hours have again dropped and during this period of time I released three videos. I released one video that was basically reviewing my Windsor & Newton Cotman set which was my go-to set that I really really liked at this point which is one of the most popular videos and then I did another video that I absolutely love I enjoyed putting it together and I thought it would be really really helpful for people and I actually thought that this would be one of the most popular videos but oddly enough it didn't do that well and that was like gifts for artists and it just kind of went through my favorite art supplies at the time and art supplies that I felt would make good gifts if you were looking for gifts for artists basically um and that got 17 views in month three and then I also did another loose watercolor floral because again that's what I really enjoyed doing and I felt like that was one of my strengths and that had 11 views that month we then go on to month four so at this point we have 15 subscribers <laughs> and 114 views so the views have started going up again we have 5.6 
hours watched which again has gone up again and just kind of as a frame of reference for YouTube to be monetized for example you need to have 4,000 watch hours at the moment we have maybe 20 watch hours total four months in so you can see why the journey to like monetization is quite long and quite hard but we persevere so this month was all loose florals and this was my first video actually showing my face on youtube so the range of views again was quite variable the least amount of views was four views and the most was 26 so mixed results month four then we go on to month five and at this point i have an increase of six subscribers so we now have 21 subscribers i have an increase in views so 217 views this month and 16.7 watch hours and you have to remember that these views are not just coming from the videos that i have created this month but from the videos that i created the month before that's why they say youtube is a marathon not a sprint so in this month i created my very first like art haul and this was the cast art haul where i ended up spending to the tune of almost 400 pounds on art supplies over 400 pounds i loved putting this together because i really 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 enjoyed going to cast art i enjoyed doing the haul it was a gift from my sister so i loved that as well so that ended up being one of my most popular videos and that had 92 views at this point then i also did a caddy paper review which was something that i'd bought from that haul that had 12 views and then i also did like a paint along of bouquets watercolor bouquets and that has 11 views the following month there's like a spurt we have 81 subscribers so it's literally gone up by 60 subscribers in one month i have 1100 views and 106 watch hours so this is one of like my most successful videos thus far and please recognize at this point i'm still not at 100 subscribers <laughs> I released two videos this month and one of them is the watercolour starter kit and again this was such a fun video to make because I was literally going back on all the mistakes I made when I started and kind of saying this is a mistake I made don't make it do this instead <laughs> if you want but my friend there is a difference between cheap paints that are good and things that are just trash and happen to be cheap right you want to listen to the bit about the watercolour paint so that was like really fun it was things that i wish i knew and mistakes that i made and i made mistakes in every category so that video had 57 views and then i did another video watercolor tutorial at which point it was like the only six watercolor florals that you will need and they're basically the six most popular watercolor florals that i use when making bouquets and i use different colors different compositions different sizes to kind of create all these different looks but ultimately i end up going back to these similar shapes and that had 34 views if you add that together we are at 91 views so what was accounting for the other thousand views was yes all the videos that i'd created before one of them being the whole video which had 770 views at this point on the 26th of june which was basically six and a half months into youtube i hit 100 subscribers and i was so so happy told all my family we're finally in triple digits it, it was just amazing it's like to hit 100 so i was really really happy month seven 130 subscribers so we've gone up 49 subscribers the watch hours have gone up to 124 the views have gone up to 1400 and in this time i released two videos one of them again is now my most popular video well both of them actually most popular videos so one of them was reviewing the kuretake paints so i was gifted the kuretake paints and i really love them they are different or they behave differently because they're japanese paints so i was just basically highlighting the differences and what i thought about the paints and that got 145 views and then the other video I did another haul which I had like slowly 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 been building up with time didn't really think of it as a haul at the time I was just buying art supplies and then I was like oh I might as well show you guys what I got and that was my Amazon haul so that got 116 views then we go to month eight we're now at 200 subscribers and 2.2 thousand views 193 watch hours and at this point i released three videos again that i really liked basically my strategy or my way of making videos was whatever i wanted and whatever i thought would be helpful or useful or whatever i wish i had known in the past that i had just found out that i wanted to share so that other people could find it easily and one of them was like how to find reference photos i released that video and it had 32 views so it wasn't 
popular and even till date I don't think it did very well but I hope that it served whoever wanted to know that information and then I did another video which was like how to sell art on Etsy and again this one didn't do too well and that had 56 views and it was just going over like my journey on starting an Etsy and what I have done and what worked and what hasn't worked and then I did another video which was basically just showing you like my studio tour and all the art supplies that I had at that point and that had 140 views. Then the following month we go up 104 subscribers and we have 3,400 views, we have 293 watch hours and in that time I released three videos. The preceding months I had had such an amazing time just doing like lots of urban sketching, going around London, going to different cafes. So I put that in a video as I was learning that and all the lessons I was learning with urban sketching and that was basically my painting the prettiest cafes in London video and that had 205 views. Then I did a review of my Himimiya gouache which I'd got from my Amazon haul which we'd seen in the past and that one had 302 views and again I really loved making that video now I'm like getting into gouache I'm like what is this medium that I love and yet it doesn't love me back and it is gouache <laughs> I did a comparison video with three different types of gouache with three different price points and that had 152 views so month 10 we are at 397 subscribers I have 3.2 thousand views so the views have started going down I have 266 watch hours which again is down but the viewers have gone up by 94 which is incredible because if you remember that's what took me over six months to get to before and in this time I released four videos which is again a bit more on target of what I wanted to do and one of them was like what's in my bag so my essential art supplies especially as I've been urban sketching more and more in that period of time then I did a video on how to draw peonies so I created a free guide and made a video to kind of accompany it and then I won some Viva colour sheets so I did two videos on that one of them being the unboxing of the Viva like pack with the um, Inktober collaboration and the art from different artists which was again amazing and the other one was doing a review the reason that I've put asterisk next to how to draw a peony and Viva colour sheets is essentially because they they had the least amount of views so they didn't even rank in my top 10 for that month despite being released that month. Month 11 <laughs> so almost the end of the year we have 440 subscribers so it's gone up by 43. We have 1.8 thousand views and 144 watch hours so again everything heading down. Um, and the videos that I released in this time were four. In October, I like to do different challenges. Um, the previous October had been the gouache faces where I painted different people. And this time it was the paintscape where I basically painted 15 different landscapes from 15 different countries in Africa. I basically put together a video highlighting my experience doing that and what I thought and just highlighting and just me painting the different landscapes and then I also went urban sketching in the beach so I shared that video as well like a vlog I thought that it would be nice to kind of do an introduction video because it's now been almost a year in and I hadn't really like introduced myself or said who I was or what I was doing I was just like creating videos so I thought it'd be nice for you guys to know me a bit better so it was a very short video which was meant to be like the intro and then I did an art challenge where I was basically trying to create art with art supplies from <laughs> from Poundland and yeah that was an interesting video from that video though I did find one really really good art supply that I still use um but the rest was trash <laughs> the rest I hate you but anyway this is month 11 and then month 12 we now have the views start going up again and the watch hours start going up again and this is around December time so at this point I release again four videos one is my Jackson's art supply haul from Black Friday that so far is one of my favorite videos because I had I was so 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 genuinely happy and you know when you look back on yourself and you see yourself happy and you feel that joy again that's basically what I feel every time I look back on that video because I have done yet another massive art supply haul this I had a few issues opening it earlier in this bit oh yeah then i press this down open nope press this up whoops what's going on oh no cuts no grazes why because i'm a surgeon <laughs> i'm being silly oh i forgot about this <laughs> because i love paper 
yeah, I was just so excited and, and so happy with the supplies and with the potential of the supplies and yeah, amazing. Um, it's not even like my most expensive haul, but it's one of my favorite hauls. And that had 1,065 views. Knowing that I also did like a sketchbook tour um, and that had 215 views. And again, that was so fun to put together because I was just looking back on my art and I hadn't really done that. And it's just so nice to see you know, when you haven't done it for a while, you almost forget different things that you've done. I felt really inspired to like experiment with different techniques that I hadn't done in a while. Art pieces that I hadn't liked before, I really liked now. So it was really fun to go back on. And I really, really enjoyed that video. And although not that many people watched it, the people who watched it seemed to enjoy it. Then I did a video basically reviewing the Paul Rubens student grade set and that had 357 views and finally I did like a small tutorial basically showing how you can do some simple Christmas card designs with watercolour and that had 79 views. So I have two bonus months right because following that we are now month 13 and my views have gone up to 7,000. Um, the watch hours have gone up to 700 <laughs> which is unreal and the subscribers have gone up to 772 so we've gone up 223 subscribers which as you know if you look back what took nine months to achieve before has now been achieved in one month looking back on this i can see that i really enjoy making videos because i'm like oh yeah i really had fun making this but i basically made four videos which again i really enjoyed making one of them was my most used art supplies in 2021 and I kind of felt like I couldn't really say favorite art supplies because it's not like I've used all the art supplies that I have and I can say these are the best but I can tell you which ones I used most and which ones I enjoyed using most created that and that had 525 views then I created my art haul favorites and again this was like a gift edition because to me in my head I am always looking for gift ideas so I thought it'd be helpful to put out gift ideas for people and that had 742 views as you know by now I've kind of like fallen in love with urban sketching and with painting and traveling at the same time so I released a video basically putting together my art case similar to like a what's in my bag but more of a these are helpful things to have if you like traveling with art supplies or if you want to do urban sketching and that had 783 views and then I also created a video basically reviewing the Bao Hong watercolour paper, which is 100% cotton paper, but also very affordable. And I did a mini review of that and that had 219 views. Month 14, we have 902 subscribers, which is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh so we have 5,500 views we have 568 watch hours the number of subscribers have gone up by 140 and in this period of time I go extra and I create eight videos which is insane and I think part of the reason was yeah I don't know why yeah a goals video where I basically look back on the goals that I'd made a year previously um see what I achieved, what I didn't achieve, and then set new goals for 2022, which again was really fun. And in that, I create a free goals planner that's available for anyone. And I will link all these things down below. Then following that, I receive some art supplies from Artistro and I review that and like really try to like test them out. That has 158 views. I then do an art challenge, which I had a lot of fun creating. And so it was basically this art challenge. I don't want to give you a complete sneak peek, but basically, I yes. I do a painting in one hour, 10 minutes, one minute and five minutes. Um, so I really had fun making that challenge. So I think that's a challenge that I'm going to do again more frequently because it, for one thing, my favourite one wasn't the painting that took an hour. So it just shows you that I can actually make use of when I have five or 10 minutes rather than always thinking I can't paint or I can't do art unless I have a significant amount of time. But anyway... <laughs> topic for a different video. So I do that video and it has 179 views and then do a video where I basically paint real time. So I do these, this painting again. And basically the reason that I did that was I learned something new from each painting that I did. And I wanted to put that all together without the pressure of time. I then highlighted my favorite palette, which is this one. I've just stuck some magnets on there. It's basically a review of the palette. So I do highlight pros and cons, but in the end, spoiler alert, I do love it. It does have cons, but I do love it. I then do another art hall, London Graphic Centre. I went there and I kind of show you the store and that had 862 views. And then I do another video basically highlighting my favourite YouTubers. I love that video because if you love seeing people's art, then you'll like that video. I show their art and I show why I love their art, what I've learned from it. And I just thought it would be like a nice way to discover different artists and like a mini thank you from me to them for 
their hard work because I have watched them for a very long time visually like it's a really nice video to look at and to see all their art and then this is my first live stream and I basically do a loose floral painting and this is where like my love of live stream starts because it's just so nice to like be able to paint and also chat <laughs> chat with you at the same time and that had a hundred views but then live streams are a bit different because they you get the views that you get live i.e when people are popping in and out and then after once it's published the views are like separated as well live streams in theory according to the analytics kind of tend to pull my channel down in terms of the fact that people don't like clicking on them people don't watch them etc etc but i enjoy them so much and i just i like engaging with you guys so that's why i still keep doing them <laughs> despite what the analytics say so yeah so in that period of time i created eight videos technically 14 months and a few days later we hit 1000 subscribers which is incredible as especially when i look at this graph i do find it unreal because we had seven subscribers all related to me and then from seven to 100 subscribers it took six and a half months and six months later we are at a thousand subscribers so so in six months we had a tenfold growth which is absolutely insane and completely completely unexpected and this was just a video highlighting what exactly i did and in the coming videos which once they're up i will link at the end i will actually go through what i've learned what videos worked and what videos didn't work dig deeper into the analytics and also share the advice that i have for starting a youtube channel as well as wait for it a few videos highlighting advice from other successful youtube artists on here as well so if you want to know more about how to grow your youtube channel then definitely watch the following videos if you are still watching then you are a real mvp and i really 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 appreciate you please let me know you are still watching by telling me which of the videos i have shared was your favorite <laughs> or if you have any interesting insights on this past year then please feel free to leave them down below in the comments as you know i read every comment and i reply to every comment so thank you for making it such an amazing year i look forward to the year that we're going to have and all the years that are coming after that without further ado i will see you next week bye <laughs> oh i am so humbled i don't know what the word is i am so grateful i'm so grateful <laughs> that's the word is i was having a good old time i just turned on the camera and was talking about the art supplies that i got that i loved but i am so grateful that i am in a position to do this video and that is basically to thank all of you for being absolutely amazing for being mvps for supporting me on my journey as you may know if you've watched my live stream i initially said that i wanted to have a thousand subscribers before my birthday and amazingly we hit and passed that milestone which is incredible